what up guys we left it off in this previous video with button clicks and our bind methods are going to be called obviously in this video we're going to be using the same knowledge that we got from there and uh, extend the application to what we want to do so first things first we need to actually have a list of image sources and also the right and wrong answer so the whole idea of the application is to show an image and we also show closer uh, values of uh, the correct answer it could be like a human and it could be like a, a monkey or something like that and when you when you your correct answer is clicked that means that uh, the user is getting a score of one or something like that that's what is going to be the whole idea for this video so i mean we're going to add the crux of the algorithm and also look at how to extend our application and make sure that we do some really important and simple stuff as well so first things importantly to create a simple uh, dictionary of values and the dictionary file is obviously going to take for example um, the url as the key and the correct and wrong answer as the value so how you can do that is actually to uh, maybe have a uh, uh, URL answer dict and we can do something like this and the URL is going to be obviously this version here and we can give it like it's it going to take a tuple so what I'm going to do is obviously depend on the already available thing that I took from here I'm going to take an airplane so I just give it like an airplane or a bird or so airplane or uh, but similarly i'll have also other two two uh, equal uh, test data values again just call the baboon okay the baboon is looking really good so baboon followed by okay i'll call it a baboon and maybe human and next one let's find a cat out and we'll see cat we'll have a tiger or something like that awesome so we have three test data values not a lot to play with but for some for our example here it's going to be easier so what's going to be the logic here so the logic is going to be whenever the user is going to click the button it's going to process if it's the correct answer or the wrong answer and depending on that we're going to be showing a final page where it's going to be giving the final output so what we can do for that is to now we i have our entire logic built inside our init of the uh, our my layout method but what we can do is to actually show a simple page where it could be like we can actually remove this entire thing and put it into a simple method and that method is going to be every time called whenever the answer correct callback answer is going to be fired it depend does not depend on it's, it's not going to be if it's the right answer or wrong answer rather it's just going to be fired whenever our method is going to be called so that's going to be the whole logic right so what you can do is just remove the entire thing from here just define the calls equal to one alone and we'll just say load new image and it's going to take a simple uh, 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 variable or it's going to take a simple signature of url and we're going to pass this i mean put this thing here so now this url is going to be called here so this is right so this is the flow is done now what we can do to load the new image is to first load the new image with some data right so we we'll load the new image with some data like this so it's going to be uh, url uh, is equal to we just show some data for example let's take this one let's take a boat and we'll have a default url it's again a dictionary egg so we we'll just pass it like this and no let's not do all that let's just take one from here itself and we'll just pass it we'll randomize it and pass it inside so what we can do is to do a list of uh, list of we can take self dot url dot keys and you can just say some number some random number so just pass it inside and it's going to pass a url which is going to be a text value and this method is going to be fired this is going to be the first thing that's going to be happening so as soon as the url is fired we can take it and show it to the user and this is really cool now using this url we can also get the correct answer and the wrong answer right you can load the buttons with it so we can just do uh, answer button is equal to self dot url answer dict dot get off url so as soon as you do that it's going to be in the form of a tuple in the type of zero and one so you can actually give this here and say it's going to be answer button of zero awesome right so this is this portion is done this portion is completed so similarly do the same for here as well and we'll have 
our first application completed now the, the first flow is complete the initial flow is completed as soon as the you are my layout loads it's going to show me the button and it's going to show me the user with the url whatever i'm passing as so in this example is zero and it's going to be fine now what happens when you click this button here when i click this button it should still load this this uh, method but it should not show me the same image so what i'm going to do is that first things is going to create a simple random integer i'm going to load a random uh, the random call and create random class and call a simple create a simple random integer it's going to be rand int or something like that and i'm going to say random dot rand int and it's going to take a lower and upper case, lower value and upper value, which obviously going to start from zero. And I'm uh, sorry, I don't want it to start from zero because I've already loaded it in the application. I'm going to start from one. And I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a length of the size of the overall dictionary. So it's going to be keys, so whatever you can keep. Uh, it's going to be a list of minus one so that length becomes minus one so it's not too much it's not going outside the box all right so that's it so we have done is we are loading from one so only either of the two can be shown so what i'm going to do is another, add another image so that we don't worry about uh, having lesser images uh, should it, this be fine i don't know i think this should be fine so we'll have this here and show this also uh, girl and it should be uh, girl or it could be a uh, toy i don't know could be car okay car okay, let's not go into the details anyway so this is going to be random integer is going to be loaded and what i'm going to do with the random integer is going to pick some url from that and pass it to the load uh, method so i'm going to load but i'm not going to be giving it a direct value instead i'm going to do this list of self dot url dot keys of random integer awesome so it's going to be giving me passing me some value inside and this is going to be loaded every time i click a button now we can also do is that use this text here and also keep a score of what is correct and what is wrong so as i told in the previous week i mean this section when i created the url dictionary it's going to be in the form of a right answer come a wrong answer so if the user clicks the right answer only it's going to be giving me the value so what i can do is that if the user's click is equal to whatever integer I'm, uh, whatever value i'm loading so whatever instance is coming in i can use that and find if the correct answer is there so it's going to be for us we know for sure that it's always going to be the left side of the value so we can use that to find out if you are we are creating the correct answer so let's go ahead and do that so user is clicking is going to click something and the user is going to say self dot answer one and it's going to bind it i'm going to give it to a callback it's going to get the instance and it's going to print the instance now i want to know if this answer is correct or wrong for that i need to ha also have a callback to the url dic met url dictionary so that i can fetch the url get the answers and compare if the correct answer is being clicked so what i can do is now instead of doing that portion i can directly check here Awesome, so this part is done. We're going to be loading it and which we're also going to show. But what is the one thing that is missing from here? The one thing that is missing from here is that if you remember, if you actually know what is going to happen, every time this load method is going to be clicked, we are actually on top of it again and again calling the add widget method, which is not what we want. What is going to happen if I want to show it to you guys is going to, you can just see it for yourself. I will roll the application. It's going to give me an airplane and it's going to show me. This, this is the default flow as soon as the application opens. When I click on the airplane, Immediately, as you can see, it's giving me another another widget on top bottom of that. Not something that I want. So what is going to be the solution for that? What we can do to actually remove that portion is before we call the load method, load image method, always call the clear widget. So clear widgets is going to be completely clearing the self, which is nothing but our my layout grid here of all the values. So as soon as we get that, it's going to be cleared of all the values. And we are, I, we can actually for sure tell that it's going to be the right or means it's, it's, it's always going to be cleared up and you can load the new widgets on top of each other so let's close it up and we can run it and you can see for ourselves that our application is working as we intended it to work so you can just do a simple obviously first is always going to be an airplane i'll click it and it's going to ask me if it's a baboon or a human and i'm going to say it's a baboon and it's a correct answer from my side and tight cat or tiger 
cat again okay it's taking so much time i'll cut anyway nothing is happening here so like we are not keeping a tab of a score or anything of that sort so but the whole intention for this video was to show you guys how the flow actually works and how you can actually create something like this one below the other by just modernizing our code a little bit all right so this video is done in the next section of the video we're going to be adding a little bit of a pop-up whenever a correct answer is clicked or whenever a wrong answer is clicked so we're going to categorize our correct and wrong answer show a simple pop-up to the user and if possible if needed we can also keep a tab of score and we can show it over the end of this video i mean end of the uh, the game is completed that's going to be the agenda for the next video and also towards the end of this next video we'll be looking to run our application inside uh, our first uh, apk we can create a simple apk put it inside an android emulator if possible the next video on that next we, we, uh, video after that so it's going to be a couple of videos more for this series to end make sure you guys stay tuned for that let me meet you there and then bharat peace out have a super awesome day